Welcome back everybody 641 moving along here in this six o'clock hour and moving along with sunshine out the door in Grand Rapids. Uh, pretty much all of West Michigan has seen a very nice day today. Overall more sun today versus yesterday. If you live in the counties right along the lakeshore though, you've had a lot of sun all week and temperatures have made their way back into the lower 80s. Those were our daytime highs today, generally between about 81 and 83 degrees. The most common numbers on the board though, Kalamazoo did max out at 84 here earlier today. 78 degrees. We drop it back to at 7 o'clock locally in GR. 75 at 9 o'clock. And notice that icon at 9 o'clock now. We've got the moon symbol. Why would that be? Well, because the sun down at 8.59. We're before the 9 o'clock hour now with the sun downs, unfortunately. But as I've talked about, still more than enough daylight to crank heat waves uh, around here. If we've got the right pattern, do we have that pattern? Well, heat wave technically 90 degrees or above for three straight days. I don't necessarily see that, but it's going to be hot enough and humid enough by the time we get to, uh, say, Sunday and beyond. As far as rain chances, rain prospects, a few showers show up on the scene here Friday afternoon into the evening. People going out and about on Friday night. Is this going to be a big problem? Well, I don't think a big problem, but perhaps a problem with some wet weather out there. Thursday, no rain. I said no rain today. Technically, I was wrong. There was a tiny little shower there in Montcalm County and across southern Kent County. But folks, for all intents and purposes, it was no rain here on Wednesday. It's going to be the same deal tomorrow. Friday, a few showers in the afternoon. Saturday, I think a shower that lingers from Friday will be in the morning. Much of the afternoon will be dry with some sun, mid 80s, and then up to near 90 on Sunday. Sunday is going to be rain free here, folks. We've been talking storms perhaps, but that's later at night into Monday morning and maybe into the afternoon. We'll see about that. Obviously, the further along we go, the further out in time we go, and it becomes a little bit more difficult to project timing on showers and storms going to be warm though. That seems to be a certainty upper 80s well into next week with humidity that'll be very high at that point in time. Temperatures right around 80 degrees warm across the country as usual. Yes, Vegas at 111 degrees. Phoenix 112. They have seemed to gotten a bit hotter today versus the last few days. Winds which can be breezy here in West Michigan as you know have not been the past several days and are not right now. Uh, virtually calm at times in Grand Rapids today. Dew points around 60 degrees which is uh, pretty moderate level of humidity for this time of year. But when you've got light winds, you can feel it a little bit more so. And I could feel it just stepping outside a little while ago, but it's not tremendous here, folks. It won't be on Thursday. We'll pick it up a bit on Friday and then straddle this muggy and oppressive line from Saturday into Sunday, but really picking it up, I think even a little bit more so Sunday and then especially Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when dew points could get up to around 75 degrees. We believe that that is uh, high enough and we'll be sweating around here with daytime highs in the upper 80s at that point in time. Satellite and radar, not much going on. Yes, a very tiny little shower was seen uh, in a couple spots this afternoon, but that going away and nothing to be expected later tonight. In fact, clouds shriveling up for everybody. High pressure working down to the southeast. Folks, it's a clockwise flow around high pressure and high pressure has been overhead really recently. So when it's overhead, you don't have much wind field and it can be variable at times. But once it goes towards the east coast, uh, the next couple days we get on the back side that clockwise rotation brings in southerly winds and in comes this next system. So net result, southerly winds typically warmer air, but the problem is by Friday we've got some additional clouds that'll stunt our warm up just a bit as a couple showers arrive here during the afternoon and into the evening. So uh, yes, there will be some wet weather, particularly Friday night, but it's going to be spotty showers. Could be a downpour here or there, just enough to cause uh, a problem for outdoor uh, events. But uh, you know, we'll keep tabs on that. Things can change. We'll see. Saturday morning gets out of here. Much of the weekend, Saturday afternoon into Sunday, going to be rain free. Temperatures on the rise, humidity on the rise. Best chance for storms overnight Sunday into Monday.